Hello! We are a show of team from Banyu Bramanta Spoon Weber Institute of Technology ready to take part in remotely operated vehicle challenge and video champion! Hello, my name is Samad Sajidah Rama as the mechanical division. My name is Cindy Buda Primacia as the electrical division. My name is Dibari Astawati Utola as a programming division. My name is Liska Melody Shabira. My name is Opis Dianorista. We are official division. We have gained a lot of experience in Android robots such as joining technology in 2019. We also volunteering as a technical assistant made our OV Asia 2019. We joining first Batu Underworld Robot Challenge 2019 and be awarded as a special award. We also joining international competition like Singapore IUV Challenge 2020 and then we joining the technology in 2020 and they became the winner. And we also learning robot by visiting Sekolah Robot Indonesia. Challenge mission is to lift the marbles quickly and it is quite complex. We accommodate our RV with the suction pump to efficiently suck the marbles until they are sticking and be grated into the basket area. In designing our RV, we need to pay attention in the weight point and floating point throughout the RV to make it stable and have a good maneuverability. In deciding the PCB, considering its dimension is very vital, so it's such a challenge for us to make the design as minimalist as possible. And then we also have to face the challenge in making a good integration between the driver motor and the remote control. Also, in explaining the whole process, it's important to serve a well understanding report for the public. To overcome the challenge, we define the task into four that are mechanical division, electrical division, programming division, and official division. The mechanical division has seven tasks. First, making the design frame. Second, RFV's primary design. Third, component placement design. Fourth, determining the main material of RFV. Fifth, printing 3D models. Sixth, arranging the component in united frames. And the last one is waterproofing and stabilization. The electrical division was in charge of uh, making the schematic switch, design the PCB, print the PCB, soldering and wiring the electrical component. The programming division was in charge of making the coding script, making a simple program to test the clockwise and counterclockwise rotation to check the connection between motor driver and remote control. The official division was in charge in the making of the report, presentation and managing the whole timeline throughout the progress. We can solve the mission well because of the division of the task and coordination of the solid team. In the process to making an underwater robot, we use several software. The software we use are SolidWorks, Eagle, and Arduino IDE. SolidWorks to build 3D design model and it has simplicity in building 3D objects, especially for smaller objects than Eagle. Equal to construct the PCB design. Equal by providing complete database component, easy to learn, and proper features. And the last one is Arduino IDE. Arduino IDE to program the ROV movement. By using Arduino IDE, we can utilize Arduino Nano as a microcontroller. And the programming language of Arduino IDE is easy to learn. The main materials and the components we use are first, lock and lock. It is supplied as the main body of the ROV. We use this one because of its guaranteed waterproofing. The second one is the pump. It is used to suck the marbles or the materials to complete the mission. It is easier to use the pump because of its simplicity in the operating system and safe place. The third one is the three blades of propeller, which are used to stable the water flow and propose a stronger pulse in the air of the movement. The last one, but not the least, a flight scare remote control. It is used to transfer the air of the command from the controller to the robot. 
program in our variables start when we transfer the input out command during the remote control, including the direction of the robot's movement, for example, forward, backward, turn left, turn right, etc. Then, the command will be reserved by the robot's receiver. Next acquisition, Arduino will process and confirm the commands by scoring them based on each command that will be driven. The output from Arduino will be utilized to drive the motor based on score. Making an underwater robot is not an easy task because it requires thoroughness and hard work. There are two issues regarding the building of the ROV. The first one is, it's really hard to find the components due to the cost story during the pandemic, so our solution is we bought the components via online. The second issue is a mismatch between the size of the components through the PCB, a factor in the disconnecting of the top and the bottom layer of the PCB. So our solution is we bore the bit manually and need a jumper using the cables so the system of the electronic will remain well executed. Apart from issue designing and building the RV, there were also issue during the trial. The first issue during the trial is the rotation of the forward motor driver moves slower. It is indicated of the discorrected scrubbing. So we analyze it and we do the wedding. And the second issue during the trial is out of the frame and pump component to take you to insufficient clue. So we must use another and better specification of clue and apply recruit. By designing and applicating the ROV, we have learned that human also has flaws in dive deeper into the ocean to solve a particular mission. So it's really beneficial for us to use the underwater robot to solve this mission. With the underwater robot, the human will no longer dive directly into the ocean, so the risk for human will get smaller. When participating in online underwater robot challenge, we gain new awareness and new experience related to underwater robot. This challenge motivates us to keep acting and keep innovating during the pandemic. The pandemic is not an obstacle that can prevent us from contribute to gain achievement and make our campus and our nation proud. Moreover, underwater robot can be developed for explore the diversity research underwater and protect maritime environment. For friends who want to learn about how to make the underwater robot, boosting solidarity and well communication among team members is important. Building compromise through every problem is an effective way to solve it. Wiring system is used to efficiently protect the vulnerable components. Make sure the cable is connected firmly and correctly in case of short circuit or wiring line breaking. And don't forget to have a good routine maintenance for the long components function.
For the conclusion, the result is we successfully migrate 16 marble within 2 minutes and 53 seconds. We have completed the entire mission. We are zero team. We hope we can be useful and inspire many teachers to keep innovating. The CWAPS team is victorious!